several of the um, statues, the Norwegian statues in the Fargo-Moorhead area. And I've been doing some research on my own um, for um, uh, an article, and it's just really thrilling to, to know a little bit more information about what the statue meant to the Norwegian Americans here in the Red River Valley and um, what was going on in Norway at the time and and the, the, the real effort towards celebrating their independence and of course Wergland was, was one of the instigators of, of the independence in, in Norway from Sweden and um, as I'm learning more it, it means more and I think that everybody should should really get to know more about the statues in Fargo Moorhead so that they understand why they are here and, and that doesn't go just for the Norwegian statues but for other statues as well. Hi, Mark Wergeland uh, from Northfield, Minnesota, Diane and my wife. Uh, we drove up this morning after uh, celebrating uh, Set in the Mai at the St. Olaf College in Northfield where we live and our youngest son uh, is a senior and graduating from St. Olaf next weekend and uh, is a uh, Nordic Studies major along with Political Science and Environmental Studies. So we were on our way up to uh, uh, up to Hillsboro today and we thought we'd stop and, and uh, participate in the ceremony. And what's your relationship to Virgilin the poet? Well, it's uh, in the family tree. It goes way back, uh, back to the uh, the Wergelands in uh, in Norway, and our uh, uh, we still have a number of uh, relatives over there, uh, cousins in Norway, particularly in the Bergen area. And uh, uh, we, uh, it, as I said, our youngest son went back to uh, study last year as a junior at the University of Oslo.